I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Elle, and you're watching BDTV for Friday, February 10th, 2023. February is Black History Month. We will be highlighting one influential black person every day on BDTV for this month. Today, we will be highlighting George Washington Carver. He was an American agricultural scientist and inventor who promoted alternative crops to cotton and soil. He was one of the most prominent black scientists of the early 20th century. Coming up on today's show is ACT vs. SAT and Beach Volleyball. But I do not want negative energy. If you get what you give, give me positivity. Give it to me. Hey, be different. Be nice. Just smile. I promise it'll change your life. I'm Tori. And I'm Juan. Let's get into the announcements. Students, remember to check your email every day. You may receive testing information and other important news through your school email. Seniors, you are to report all offers of scholarships to Ms. Bachman, even if you don't accept them. This is a district requirement. We will be having a Show Your Love Week, February 13th through the 17th. February 13th through the 17th is Show Your Love Week. Let's go check out the days. Monday is Show Your Love for Comfort. You can do this by wearing pajamas. Tuesday is Show Your Love for Valentine's Day. Wear pink, white, red, or purple. Wednesday is Show Your Love for Sports. Wear your favorite jersey. Thursday is Show Your Love for a Friend or Crush. This day is Twin Day or Dress Like Your Crush Day. Friday is Show Your Love for Winter Haven High School. Wear blue and gold to show your school spirit. Make sure to dress up, Winter Haven. Winter Haven defeated George Jenkins to advance to the 7A 9 District Championship game. Jamie Phillips, Phillips Jr. went 1,000 career points in the first quarter and led Winter Haven with 19 points. Isaac Selzar scored 18 points and KJ Parker scored 13 points. Dylan James scored 8 points. For his career, James has more than 1,100 points, 800 rebounds, and 275 blocks. Matt Vaughn also scored 8 points. Congrats, boys! We are having a home game against Plant City at 7 p.m. tonight, so come out and support our boys. The boys lacrosse team will have their home opener next Monday at 7 at Denison Stadium. Come watch the boys take down Lakeland Christian. The theme is Tropical Tiki Takedown. So wear your favorite Hawaiian shirt and come support the team. The first 50 fans get a free lay. The deadline to purchase senior recognition ads in the yearbook is February 14th. Purchase and create your ad online at the link below. This month's fifth period classes may participate in the Penny for pa Patients campaign benefiting the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. We will collect each Wednesday, going through February 22nd, with the final collection on March 1st. The first place cast will earn Chick-fil-A, yummy, second place Domino's, and third place Dunkin' Donuts. Wow, great. those are great prizes. There will be a chess tournament on February 18th. It will cost $5 for non-chess club members. If interested, please see Ms. McCallum, B. John, or Ms. Rangel. Congratulations to all the students who participated in our county piano concert held on Tuesday, February 7th, which includes Noah Cunningham, Alanis Rosado Hernandez, Brooke Ostillo, Mateus Gabriel Pierre, Maria Reed, Jerry Hunley, Emily Moeller, Janiel Ortega Cavana, Ariel Volsina, Georgia Medrano Flores, Cambry Petty, and Althea Tavier. Congratulations to you all. Seniors, the next dates to buy Grad Bash tickets are February 14th and 15th for $97. The new February Scholarship Bulletin is out. Stop by guidance to see if you qualify for any scholarships. See Ms. Bachman if you have any more questions. I'm sure many students applying for scholarships have taken the ACT and SAT. Yeah. Welcome back to my series, Tips with Tori. And today we're going to be going over the tips on knowing the difference between the ACT and the SAT. Let's get started. Both tests have four sections of the test, but the topics of the test are slightly different. The SAT questions go reading, English, math with no calculator, then math with calculator. The ACT sections go English, math, reading, and science. Now the biggest difference between the two tests is the grading scale. The ACT is graded on a 1 through 36 and each of its different sections is given its own number. And to get the total score, it would be all added together and then averaged out to get your final score. But what is really nice about the ACT is that it can take the best scores from each of the tests you take and make it into a super score. And you can send that super score to colleges. Now with the SAT, this grading score is based on a 400 to a 1600, 
And if you want to super score, it is split up into two sections. The two sections are English and reading, and the both maths. And how you get your score is added up of those two sections, and that is based on 200 to 800 points. And those are added together to get your final score. Now the reason why we have the ACT and SAT is because they help you get into college and they can help you pass certain graduation requirements even. And that is just some of the tips you need to know when knowing the difference between ACT and SAT. I'm Tori BTV. Until next time, Winter Haven. So I was taking my ACT this weekend and I was thinking, what am I going to wear for prom? Prom guest applications will be available in the cafeteria during all three lunches and are due no later than February 28th. They must still attach the guest ID and be signed by both a Winter Haven High School administrator and administrator from the guest last school attended. The guest must be at least 14 years old and no older than 20 at the time of the event. Guests are any person who are not currently a Winter Haven junior or senior. All students and guests must have a picture ID to be admitted. Tickets will be sold in the media center during all three lunches from Friday, March 3rd to Thursday, March 9th. Cost is $60 for seniors, $80 for juniors, and $100 for approved guests. Checks may be payable to Winter Haven High School with student ID or cash. No bills larger than 20. Students must have all obligations cleared 24 hours before ticket purchase. Seniors. Senior notables will be active until February 16th. Use this QR code to vote. Senior cap and gowns should be ordered online or mailed as soon as possible. Perp Jones will start assessing late fees in March. The supervisor of election officials will be on campus in the cafeteria Tuesday, February 28th to register students to vote. You will need your driver's license or state ID number or the last four digits of your social security number. 18 year olds can register to vote and will receive the registration card in three to four weeks. 16 and 17 year olds may pre-register to vote and will receive their registration card when they turn 18. Congrats to our Silver Garland nominees who did their interviews on Wednesday. Best of luck to all of you as you continue on your competition. We'd like to congratulate the host of students for their event on Saturday. Shamar Lewis placed third in healthcare issued exam and fourth in prepared speaking. Joelle Johnson placed first in clinical nursing. Mars McDermott placed second in clinical nursing. Gianna Pudencino placed fifth in home health aid. Hilary Jimenez placed fifth in nursing assistant. And Kanaya Morajin placed fifth in physical therapy. Make sure to congratulate them if you see them. I bet the students and hosts that enjoy watching beach volleyball. It's finally February and a new sport is coming into play. It's beach volleyball's third season and first season being deemed as a Winter Haven sport. I'm LFBDTV. Let's go find out more about beach volleyball. How is this season going to be different from the last? Well, we lost a lot of our seniors this season, but we have our indoor coach coming in to help us out. So that's going to be a new fun experience. And we're playing a lot of new high schools and higher level teams. So that's going to be fun and helpful to our team this year. And it's just going to be a better season because we have more girls coming in. And How long have you been playing beach volleyball? Two years, and I really enjoy it, and I love like the momentum and everything. This is my first year, and I'm really excited. Um, about four years, and I'm really happy to be back on the courts. This will be my third year, and I'm super excited to play for my junior year. What's your favorite thing about beach volleyball? Um, it's just a different setting than indoor volleyball. You know, there's in general, it's a lot of fun, but some things that can stick out are like just being in the sand. It's a different environment than indoor. Um, having fun with friends in general, the tan that we get from the sun. As the last two seasons ended with appearances in state playoff games, our team is ready for this season. Even though tryouts have already passed, you are still able to come support us at our games. I'm LFD TV. see you on the courts when I I wonder if the HBCU jump off will have volleyball. The HBCU jump off will be Saturday, February 18th from eight to three at Simpson Park Memorial Community Center in Lakeland. The attending colleges and universities will be below. On-site admissions will be offered. Bring your SAT and ACT scores. Register for free breakfast and lunch. There is no cost to attend and you can find more info and guidance. Thank you to Dr. Jaime for coming to FCCLA's first period meeting and doing a baking demonstration of your famous banana cake. It looks so yummy. Any girls interested in lacrosse, go see Coach Gibson for more information. The Chorus and Art Club are collaborating for the Valentine's Day fundraiser. There are three options for singing Valentine's gifts. Carnations for $3, Carnation Ring Pop Combo $5, and Carnation Candy Bracelet Combo $5. Cash only, no change. To purchase a singing Valentine, see a member of the Chorus Art Club, Mr. Hatley, or Mrs. Vaughn before February 10th. That's all we have for you today, Winter Haven. I'm Melith BDT. Have a great day. <laughs>